the Florida Board of Education has voted to lower its standards when it comes to their writing exams. So these writing exams are given to fourth, eighth, and tenth graders, uh, and apparently they always used to do okay, but the last time that they took the tests, uh, they failed horribly, right? <laughs> so the educators are complaining because they have changed the way that the test is structured. So according to USA Today, educators have also complained that the Florida Comprehensive Assessment Test administered to fourth, eighth, and tenth grade students counts punctuation and spelling, but had not done so before. Well, how do you expect the poor kids to use punctuation in tenth grade? Obviously, that's unfair to test them on that. I mean, do you know what comes at the end of a sentence? We are a nation of morons. That's what we are. We are a nation of morons. Really? Florida hadn't test punctuation and spelling in the writing exam until recently? Man, all the crazy stories come out of Florida. Look, at first I felt bad saying it, but now I know why this is happening. Uh, well, because nobody's getting a proper education. Look, putting the kidding aside, it's really sad. Look, our, our education system's a mess. Uh, unfortunately, uh, look, I... I always put the blame, uh, I know this sometimes gets me in trouble, but I, I put the blame on the parents. I mean, if your kid's in 10th grade and he doesn't know how to spell or where to put punctuation no, in a sentence, but no. I mean, it's not like, come in on, man. In this case, you're wrong, Jenk. In this case, you're totally wrong, because how are the parents supposed to know that it's not testing them for spelling and punctuation? Oh, come on, pay attention, man. If my kid doesn't know that a period goes at the end of a sentence, what we're going to have issues way, want? way before 10th grade. Okay, I mean, look, but, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm this? not one of those tiger moms. I'm not going to be doing his homework every day and going over every little nook and cranny. It's his homework, his problem, not my problem. Okay, now, having said that, I'm, it bootstraps, yeah, exactly right. But I'm going to check in every once in a while. I'm going to make sure he's not an idiot, right? Every once in a while, I'm going to quiz him and be like, two plus six, go. <laughs> hey, you know, help me out of here a little bit. I would, I think, I hope I would know by 10th grade if my kid's like, do I put a comma at the end of the sentence? No. Put a comma at the end of the sentence, see how, see how it turns out for you. Look, I agree okay. that the parents should have higher standards for their children, right? But a lot of parents will see their children coming home with like whatever their test grades and everything and say, oh look, got an A, good job. At the same time, these schools obviously in Florida don't hold these children at a higher standard, no, right? So I, they're passing these tests and their parents are thinking, okay, my kid's doing well. At the same time, they have no idea about punctuation and spelling. That's it, ridiculous. No, I know, but it's so depressing that we're at a point where like, people are complaining that, oh my God, they made the test so hard by requiring spelling, no, right? It's so I, I remember we had, you know, we would spell the most complicated words, not simple words, really hard words in seventh grade. That's when we had spelling. And you come out of there knowing how to spell, right? And our education is an absolute mess. But that's why I'm saying, look, look, it's not a micro issue, it's a macro issue. It's that in this country, unless you're in, look, I'm gonna keep it super real. I said this yesterday on the TV show, I'm surprised I haven't gotten in trouble for it yet, right? Unless you're from an immigrant community or a few other cultures, let me keep it real again, you know, I think the Jewish culture does a terrific job of emphasizing education, learning, et cetera, et cetera. The rest of the country is falling apart at the seams. White, Latino, black, it doesn't matter, man. You're not expecting excellence from your kids. And then when they turn out to be a mess, oh, wow, look at that. Turns, oh my, ah, oh, the schools are at fault, the government's at fault, this guy's at fault, that guy's at fault. No, you should, you should have expected excellence all along. Uh, and so, I did, you know, if you don't emphasize education, you deserve what's coming your way.